Hello everyone, welcome back to our coordinator for tutorials. In this session, we are going to discuss about how to pass data to a view with the help of controller and how can we iterate the same data into a view template by using control structures. As per our MVC architecture, we know that a view is a responsible person to display the data and who will bring the data from database always a model and how a view and model how a view and model will communicate each other with the help of controller that's already we seen in our mvc architecture diagram now we are going to see the same by action guys now what is a view exactly we seen in the earlier session how to create a view how to load that view into a controller we seen we have a global function called view in that view the first parameter if you can see the first parameter is going to be the name of the view and the second parameter is going to be the data now here i am preparing some data this data should be prepared in the controller and whatever the data we prepared in the controller the data we are passing to the global function view as a second parameter Remember one thing, if you want to pass any data to a view, the data should be an associative array. Can you see, here we have key and value pair, key and value, key and value. So this is the format we have to send them. If we can send this data variable to the view, how can we access the uh, data in that view file? By using title variable, heading variable and message variable. This title, heading messages, all three are keys. These keys are going to be act as variables in our view template. Let us go and let us already we created a view. Let me use the same view guys. Now let us go to our editor and let us do the same. Now can you see here, I prepared some amount of data. This is an associative array data. Here you can take any variable, not only data, that is your choice completely. You can take X, Y, Z, A, B, C, D also. You can take anything, whatever it may be that is holding some data. Now we are passing this data to the view, but this data is static. We don't have any data from database because we didn't discuss about models, right? If you know model, how can we get data from database and how can we pass the data to view? We can understand. We don't know models. Later in the sessions, we are going to talk about the models as well. Don't worry. Right now, I prepared an associate array with static data. So if you want to pass this data variable to this view, the second parameters of this global function is going to be the data how to pass the data whatever the data you want to showcase into your view template that we have to pass here now we are passing the data to my view this is my view you already created this let me save this file now i want to open my view in this my view file can you see we have some static data so first let me execute it so that we will understand exactly what is the output of it see here i am going to execute localhost ci4 and this is going to be block controller right this is going to be block let me open it can you see this is codeignator for view and this is welcome to codeignator page title so we are getting the output like this guys one thing now can you see if you can go to your controller this is page title and this is page heading these two variables we are passing to our view how can we access those you know in place of it i need to get the page title guys here now generally if you already know codeignator 3 so this is how we can access the data echo dollar page underscore title this is going to be act as a variable guys here remember carefully whatever the key you define here this is the key page title the key is going to be act as a variable into it guys now this is going to be page heading let us remove this static title and i am going to keep the title which is coming from our controller this is going to be page underscore heading now just you can refresh it Earlier, we seen some output in our view file. Can you see this is coordinator four views and this is co welcome to coordinator. If you can refresh it, can you see what is my output? My title is changed in page title coordinator four and this is coordinator four views. But earlier we have some data, whatever the data it may be. Now it was changed. Can you see here now? what is exactly the variables we are passing and the data which is coming from your controller is this is the data for example you want to pass an array of subjects also yes we can pass an array of subjects guys and one more thing can you see here codeignator 4 is supporting a new concept called templating engine what is this is called templating engine will support this we are going to know about this templating engine also what exactly the templating engine purpose is here it can avoid maximum of the php tags and it can avoid maximum of the echo calls also guys so for example coding number 4 by default will support we don't need to write like this also if you want to anything you want to echo we don't worry guys just you can simply give this that will take in care of the echo statement automatically here also do the same action here now i am removing just this is also equal to that this is the part of our templating engine 
So templating engine will support a lot of features guys. So we can write control structures by using templating engine. Later I will I will show you in, in a minute I will show you how can we write for loop, how can we write for each loop and all we are going to show in this session guys. How can we write a conditional statements as well by using template engine nothing but. Now you can check it. I'm not using any echo statement. I'm not using any open tag. Nothing but the standard tag of PHP also I'm not using. Just you can go and refresh it. Just you can see still you are getting the output. See here I have open official website of our coordinator.com alternative PHP syntax for view files. Can you see this is actually we will write in coordinator 3 and coordinator 2 and in core php also we will write the same right but this is the equivalent statement right all right this is how we can write it guys this is control alternative statement of echoes so actually we will write this but in place of this we are writing this syntax if we can write this syntax that statement will be printed automatically we don't need to use echo statement right so in always coordinator 4 is going to be supported like this the main intention of the template engine is to avoid the maximum of the echo calls maximum of the standard and open tags you know later in the session we are going to discuss about one more guys here view parser we have another concept called view parser guys this is one of the powerful concept what is a view parser you know remember we don't want to write anything here just you can use curly bracket in this if you can write the same page title that is going to work automatically we don't want to open and we don't want to use this tag also guys if you can use template or uh, if you can use the view parser class that i will discuss in a separate session what exactly view parser class these are called pseudo variables how can we bind the data to a pseudo variable by using view parser we are going to see in the next session don't worry about it first let us go and let us prepare some data for iteration here now right now i want to go to my controller and let us have some data here this is the array we have uh, i already have an array here this is a, some array nothing but this is also an array subjects let us go to my controller here i'm preparing this as a next element can you see here page title we already know and page heading this is now subjects is an array right this array how can we iterate this array definitely you are passing this data right if you can pass this data to this view file automatically subjects are also going to be available in your view file now go to the view file now we have to iterate the subjects right let us come here i am going to take a h3 tag or something like subjects list just i am writing something called subjects list all right we need to display the subjects list into ulli tag this is going to be ul and ul open close and this is going to be an li and this is exactly an li tag open li tag close in this i want to display html <coughs> css javascript like this guys but now i am displaying this statically just you can go to your view file and uh, just refresh it so we can see the output is going to be static so this is the data you given statically but where is in controller we have some different data with subjects key so we have to get the data and we have to iterate it guys so how can we iterate the data here so we have to write for each loop can you see now i will i will go for the both syntaxes guys this is nothing but exactly for each this is a standard uh, loop we already used in coordinator 3 and you may already know about this for each loop maybe this is going to be subjects exactly subjects as let us take this into a variable this variable will hold the values of an array if you want to get the keys also then you have to use an associative array kind of syntax such a manner i don't want key now in this situation just i want to use this can you see now guys this is exactly curly bracket open curly bracket close if it is a template engine syntax if we can go we don't want to use curly brackets open and close guys right so in place of this you can write end for each that's enough right that i will show you in a minute just wait and see here we can write an li tag li tag open li tag close inside of it i just want to write the subject dollar sub right if you can refresh it can you see all the subjects are going to be iterated but one thing very important when we are iterating any data into a view template file which is very important we need to check whether data is coming or not in this situation we need to write one small condition here so right if not empty empty of subjects if the subjects are not empty i mean some data is there we can iterate it 
otherwise if it is sometimes i don't know this is not a method right let us use count method better right uh, we don't have any modal method here so i'm just going to write count greater than zero if at least one record is there then it has to display if the records are not there we cannot display this guys just in the else block you are going to write a small message to the end user if you have records we are displaying if you don't have records display a user friendly message to the end user by saying that sorry no records found this is best practice always if you want you can take this to a paragraph tag also yeah this is how we are displaying the data into a view file now can you see anyhow we have records right we don't get that message now what i will do let me go to my controller let me remove this uh, data let us make this array as empty now can you see what is the message now the subjects array is empty now the block is going to be executed like this guys can you see sorry no records found message you are going to get so this is always a good practice sometimes when you're writing a query to your database you may get records or you may not get records if you have records we have to trade them we have to display them if you don't have records we have to display a user friendly message to the user by saying that sorry no records found right now this is how we can iterate but this is exactly we are iterating data that's fine in the view file but i want to use templating engine syntax i don't want to go for these guys then how can we write the templating engine syntax can you see here so the for each we are going to write guys all of you check it carefully one by one i'm coming this is okay we can write this core php syntax directly so now we have an alternative syntax right for echo statements and all so we are using the same here if you can see we are using the same templating engine syntax let us use the same into this also guys now i am removing this complete stuff no nothing is there still if you can go and check it and we are not going to get anything guys can you see you are not getting anything now what i want to do here we are going to write open php close php all of you check it carefully so here we are going to write for each all of you check it carefully this is going to be for each here we have to use this guys this called notation and this is going to be end for each so when i hit enter automatically that is coming that is the advantage of the editor so we no need to write uh, curly brackets here if you can go for templating engine syntax generally earlier we used seen how you written for each loop you for each and we written some logic in the condition i mean in the parentheses of that we open curly bracket and we close the curly bracket now it is not required guys simply you can do one thing same subjects as sub here we have to print the variable right huh, how can we print the variable simply we can use that notation right can you go this notation this is going to be equal to dollar sub and close this guys now just i want to refresh and i want to check it carefully now just go and refresh it uh, i think this is going to be error guys one minute please we cannot do like this right so you have to make it into li tag right so do one thing close php open php just inside of it i just want to write li tag this should be an li right each and every item should be an li here generally we we no need to write php here i'm going to with templating syntax right this is going to be done now here you can just write sub that will take in care of the echo statement what is the syntax earlier we written open php close php echo page title now what we did we changed that coding letter for supporting a concept called templating engine in that manner we are converting it guys can you see now this is going to be iterated into li items can you see exactly the same story if you want to write a condition i already told you when you are fetching some data so we need to check whether it is containing records or not right so that's why i am writing if count dollar subjects is greater than 0 all of you check it carefully here i am going to write this is guys exactly right can you see at the end what you have to write you know you have to write something called end if you have to write this is exactly the syntax of it right actually we have to write else guys here because uh, if you don't have records we have to write it now so here we are going to write one small message by saying that sorry no records found if you want you can write a message by saying a small message sorry no records found we can write a message like this sorry no records found this is the way of iterating data by using templating guys at the end of it and if so anyhow it is there na and if is there can you see if statement this is exactly if we can keep mouse here can you see the else is highlighting 
right if you can keep mouse on here and if is going to be highlighted this is templating engine syntax guys always it is a good practice to follow this coding letter 4 especially it is supporting this kind of syntax guys so in coding letter 3 we don't have this kind of syntax but in 4 it is supporting template engine right so how can we write for, for loop how can we write while loop and all same story again right so this is was exactly how can we iterate data into a view with the help of templating engine now if we can refresh can you see we don't have any problem and still we are getting the same data yes guys this is how we can pass data to a view and this is how we can iterate the data into view with the help of control structures and especially we are using templating engine syntax by using this syntax we can iterate the data now onwards we are going to use always templating engine only we don't need to worry later in the session or uh, maybe uh, next session or uh, later session we are going to discuss about view parser class so that you will understand the things very clearly guys exactly which one you want to go you want to go with the templating engine syntax or you want to go with the view parser and all you can decide guys whatever it may be anyhow right this is exactly how can we pass data to a view with the help of controller right and how to iterate the data by using control structures this is what we discussed in this session guys in the next session we are going to discuss about html table class how can we create a table without using table tag tr dd ths and all right that's what we are going to discuss in the next session thank you guys if you have any doubts please comment under the video section and don't forget please subscribe our go php channel for more videos we are planning a very big series in coding editor 4 thank you guys